Hey everyone, it's Lauren from It's The Kellys. Today I have a video for you of an unboxing and review of something I've been wanting to try for a while. And to be perfectly honest, it's something that I succumbed to from Facebook and Instagram ads. Oh, I hate it when they get me. You know, you're like scrolling through and you like click on it and look at it and then you buy it and you're like, ah. Oh. You know me too well. This is also going to be a two-part video because I am going to unbox them and review them and then I'm actually going to go on a trip, use them, and come back and do another video and tell you how I felt about it. Stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are subscribed to this channel. Um, my husband and I travel around the world as often as we can and do vlogs for you, but also in the meantime, we do lots of how-to videos for packing and travel hacks and things like that. So the product I'm going to show you today is from Cadence. And if you guys have seen them all over Facebook and Instagram, there are these little magnetic jars to hold all of your travel size products in so that you don't have to travel with a bag like this. So before I open everything up, let me go ahead and start by saying this week I am traveling to Paris. I am already packed and these are all the liquids that I need to bring with me. Okay. so. With today's video, I'm going to unbox the little jars, show them to you, and fill all of these into them to show you how well they work. I'm a little skeptical, not going to lie. Some of these things I have to keep in their original containers, and then some of the things I'm going to fill. I'm bringing a dry shampoo. I have to bring this in the container regardless because it's an aerosol. This is my makeup. That's a liquid, so I'm going to keep it in that. Um brush cleaner for my makeup class. I'm going to keep it in that. This is my little perfume. I'm going to talk about this in another video soon, but these are all the items that I want to bring. So I have a shampoo, a conditioner. I have a body wash. This is like my moisturizer. And then I don't have a travel size of my actual cleanser. So I'm going to be putting my full size into that and then i also got a container for pills because they said they're good for pills as well as liquids so i'm going to see how my travel size pills that i put in these little baggies actually fit into the containers are we ready to open them all right so a little backstory i did see these several times within the last year to be perfectly honest and every single time i clicked on them i said what a good idea i need to get these and i would click on them and say that girl that's too expensive and then that would just keep going on and on and on and then finally I'm like you know what I spend money on all of these little things all the time anyway so let's go ahead and just see if it works you pay money for travel size items anyway I always do and that adds up time after time and I travel a lot so if spending a little bit of money on these containers is going to help me in the long run, and why not spend that little bit of money up front now? <laughs> all right, and they come in a little tiny box like this. This is what all of that stuff is going to fit into. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh. Your peace of mind is here. Enjoy. Okay, so this says, I spent 2.5 years creating a brand and products that promised to deliver on three things, design, individuality, and sustainability. For me, for you, and for the earth. How cute. So, these are them. I did three different colors. So this one is for shampoo. You can go ahead and customize them and they can put it right on there. So I got, this is the eucalyptus color. This is for shampoo. Same little thing for conditioner. And they snap together. Oh, I got face moisturizer. This is terracotta color. I love this color. I'm kind of wearing it right now. Body wash and face cleanser. It's like a little game. They're all, <laughs> oh my God. They are all magnetically together like this. 
And then I got one with just a little pill thing. This is in the color sand. And they do come in seven different colors, but again, I chose eucalyptus, terracotta, and sand. It's the six pack. I got them for originally $74 for six of them. That's why I was like, nah, girl, what the price? And then I found some sort of discount code on the internet from some sort of influencer out there and I ended up paying the subtotal was $62.90. It was free shipping. They did take quite a long time to ship. I was actually a little bit nervous that I wasn't even going to get them before my trip. Have you guys used these before? Comment below and tell me for sure. So these little guys are 0.54 ounces and that's why I'm kind of a little bit skeptical because Everyone knows the typical travel ounce size is 3.4 ounces. So I'm like, wait a second, how is this gonna fit into here and be enough? But all the other reviews that I've heard say you'd be surprised how much these hold. Now this is really cool, it has the little C for cadence. They open up and because of the shape inside, you can scoop out every little last drop. And also too, how many times do you take something off and you can't find the cap? Like, I don't have the cap to this anymore because it broke and fell and grew legs and ran away. But this one is magnetic, so it just goes right on there. So you open it up, stick it to the jar, stick it to the other drawers, whatever you need to do, use it, and then put it right back on. Okay. So let's start with the shampoo and the conditioner. Typically, I would either bring one of these or put them in the little silicone containers from Amazon that I featured in my Amazon shopping video. Um, I'm going to save these because mm, I'm a little nervous that I'm still gonna need to bring some. Um, so I'm going to do what everybody should do and fill up the container from my full-size shampoo instead. This is Joyco Defy Damage. It's the best shampoo. It smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a Joyco stylist. Okay. There's not like a fill line, so I'm just gonna go all the way to the top. I'm not gonna tip it to show you guys, but it is all the way to the top. I might have filled it too much, I'm nervous. Nope, it says it's good. Shampoo. Let's open up and do the conditioner. Spill on me. Ah! Oh, that wasn't good. Sicker. There we go. Let's get that in there. Shampoo, conditioner. Let's move on to a body wash. This is the three ounce size of body wash that I get at Target or Walmart. Look at the size difference. Squeeze that. It's not a good sound. <laughs> Attach it. Body wash. Done. Okay, so now I have cleanser. Cleanser is done. Face moisturizer. This is technically travel size because it's 2.0, um, but I do buy it in the travel size, which is 1.0, so only one ounce, and then this is 0.54. So I've got a little bit of this left, so I'm gonna try to squeeze it in there. Ooh. So that is all of my liquids I'm going to pack in these. And then this is a pill container. 
and these are the packs of pills that I typically bring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which fills up maybe about halfway. There's not really room for a lot more. I mean, it's good to kind of use these, but I think I'm just gonna kind of keep them in my normal pill container. So I'm making an executive decision to keep these in my pill baggies. Sorry, Cadence. I'm going to put my tinted sunscreen in here instead. This tinted sunscreen is great. It comes out, um, it is a total SPF 30 for your face and for your neck, but it is tinted and works with all different types of skin color. So I'm gonna use that instead of the pills. And these things are interchangeable, so even though it says pills, I can just kind of take it off and it can just be blank. So now, this is what would have fit, would take up this much space, let alone the other liquids that I need to bring. There they are. So, just fit in here. My dry shampoo, my makeup, brush cleaner for class that I have to have, my perfume that is in this little bottle. Still have a ton more room and can actually close it. And then I did have another little idea that I'm going to throw in with this video while I'm talking about exclusively packing liquid toiletries. I saw this hack before and I'll probably mention it again in a hacking video, but taking a contact case for things that are liquid that you only need a tiny little bit of. Now I normally don't travel with this stuff, but I do use it every single day. So since the containers are so teeny tiny, I'm going to put a little bit of my under eye treatment in this one and I'm going to put my serum in this one and I'll get to finally travel with my products that even though this is travel size, I don't wanna put it in there. Cadence, maybe you could make an even little smaller one to go with it, but I only use like one pump a day anyway, so. That is enough there. That will be the white one. And then this is a serum. And I would like to travel with them like that. You guys saw my bag before and now you see my bag after. It can actually shut. And it has all six Cadence Cubes shampoo, conditioner, moisturizer, cleanser, and body wash. And then we went ahead and did the SPF for my face too. And then we have the dry shampoo, my makeup, my brush cleaner, my perfume. And then we even did the under eye treatment and we did the serum too. A little bit about Cadence that they said that is actually really, really shocking. Um, first of all, they made 200 prototypes out of those little containers. So they worked really, really hard for 2.5 years to find the perfect little ways to do the containers, which I think is really cool. And one fact that they said on their website is that there's 9 billion single use plastic containers that go into landfills and beaches in our lifetime. That's a lot. That's a lot. So if we can cut down using these by using these, I think that that would be magnificent. So like I said, this is going to be a two part video. And when I come back from Paris in 10 days, I am going to give you guys the full review of if these held enough, if they spilled anything like that, are they worth the money? So far, I think it's pretty great. I'm just a tiny bit skeptical on how much they're actually going to hold and if that's going to be enough and see if I wasted my 66 something dollars or if it's going to end up being a really good investment. Okay, let's go to Paris. I will see you guys there. Bye. Also, I was just cleaning up all the mess of opening the package and this says, plant me, I turn into wildflowers. How cute is that? Okay, bye.